الحمد لله الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه وأزواجه أجمعين أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل لقطة من لساني يفقه قولي ربي زدني علما أجمعين إن شاء الله May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increase in all of us knowledge. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Nice to see you brothers and sisters. We'll start our lesson again one more time. We'll revise it a little bit. Lesson 26. Adasu Sadihu wa Lishroon. We'll go to, as usual, to the verbs first. Huh? Uh, page 222, brothers and sisters. Section 2. Al fi'lu imma sulatiyun wa imma rubayyun. What is the meaning of this, brother? The verb, either it is three letters or it is four letters. Fal fulasiyu and the sulatiyu. Ma fihi salasatu ahrufin asli. What is the meaning of this, brothers and sisters? Ma here is Allazi. Remember, it is not Ma Nafi. Huh? The three letter verb is the one in which there are three original letters huh? Fa Kalima, Ain Kalima, and Lam Kalima only. Huh? First radical, second radical, and third radical. Nah. For example, Kataba. Salama in Kasara Wakad Darastahu, and you have already studied it. Amma Rubayu Fama Kanafihi 
Arbatu Ahrufin Asli. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? As far as the four letter verbs are concerned, there are in it four original letters. Bahuwa Imma Mujarrat. And it is either pure, naked, you can say, without any addition, wa imma mazid, or something gets added to it, brother and sister. Fal mujarradu, and for the mujarrad, lahu babun wahidun. It has got only one bab. Unlike the fiel fulasi mujarrad, which has got six babs, this has got only one bab. Was nuhu, and the pattern of it is, brothers and sisters, fa'alala. So it is four letters. Fa'alala. And when it is a four letter verb, we know the alamatu mudarya is you. Are you with me, brother? So what will be the mudarya fa'alala? You fa'lilu. You fa'lilu. You fa'lilu. You fa'lilu. Now, tarajama, what will be the mudarya? You tarajimu. Basara, you basir. Harwala, you harwil. Dahraja, you dahrij. Farka'a, you farkhiw. Zalzala, you zalzilu. Waswasa, you waswisu. Kahkaha, you kahkiw. Kahkaha, you kahkiw. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Inshallah. And the fiel rubai madid, huh? it has got three babs. Lahu salasatu abwabin. Wahia, and they are in the first, brothers and sisters, tafa. Ta is added, tafa lala. Khalas. It's very simple. Huh? Here we are, brothers and sisters. I'll write quickly here. Now when it comes to the Bab of the Mazid, brothers and sisters, Get the idea? Tafa Lala. Huh? Then there's another one, brothers and sisters. What is it, brother and sister? If, alalla. If, alalla. And for this, the best verb to remember. The most beautiful verb, huh, brother and sister. What is it, brother and sisters? You, everybody likes this. Itma'anna, itminan. 
Mutmain. Itma'an. What is the root of it? Huh? What is the root, Padansha? Tamana. Huh? Four letter. What was added? Aleph was added. And one noon was added. Huh? In this. Are you with me? Got the idea? Now this, brothers and sisters, if we don't revise it, we will forget. Huh? And also, writing is important. If you get time, do a couple of conjugations. This will make your understanding strong in China. And what is the last one, brothers and sisters? Three verbs. Huh? The last one, the use of it is very little. Huh? It is not used very frequently. But you will find it in the literature, brothers and sisters. And what is that? In the beginning, Hamza will come, and then Fa, and then Ain, and then Noon will come. And then twice, La. That's the idea, brother and sister. But the usage of this is not very frequent. Huh? It is used rarely. So the most important for us is to remember this and this form, huh? inshallah. So the first one is, brother and sister, al felul rubayu al-mazidu. Bob number one, Tafa Lala. What is the example here? Tara Ra. Tamad Mada. Okay? Tadah Raja. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Next one, if Alalla. What is the next one? If Alalla. And we have here the example, It Ma'anna. Comes in the Quran. Ishma Azza comes in the Quran. Iksha Arra comes in the Quran. They got beautiful meanings, brothers and sisters. If an Lala. What are the examples? Ihran Jama. Okay, we go to the first bab, brothers and sisters. Tara Ra. Do you know the meaning of Tara Ra? To grow. To grow up. And what is the meaning of tamadamada? To gargle with water. Tadah Raja, the meaning is, brothers and sisters, to roll. Now we come to itma'anna, to be reassured. To be reassured. To feel peaceful and tranquil. Ishma Azza, to feel disgusted. What is the meaning of Ishma Azza? To feel disgusted. You, you don't like something, you detest. Okay? And Ik Sha'arra is to tremble, uh, to shiver, to tremble. Third one, brothers and sisters, if an lala, if an lala, ehran jama. What is the meaning of ehran jama? Please write it. Tajamma. What is the meaning of ehran jama? It gathered. Huh? It gathered. Huh? Something 
some people or something gathered. Ehranjama. Huh? And then, what is the next one, brother? If ran. What is the meaning of Ifranka? Tafarraka, to disperse. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Okay. Now, when we study the Dars, you will be watching for Madi, Mudarya, Amar, Master, okay? And if there is a ISM file, we'll be looking for it. Number three, brothers and sisters. Ta'ammalil amthilata thum akmalil nakis. Ta'ammalil amthilata thum akmalin nakis. Al-Mahdi, Mudariya, Master. Tarajama, Yutarjimu, and what is the Master? Tarjamatun. See, in Urdu, you always hear this Tarjama. So you are not saying Tamarbuta, you are only saying Ha. Tarjama. But it is actually Tarjamatun. Tarjamatun. Brothers huh? and sisters, what will be the ism file? Mutarjimu. What is it? Mutarjimu. We know it. Huh? We are strong, alhamdulillah. Huh? Translator. What will be the thing translated? Mutarjama. Huh? Just changing the Ain Kalima. Huh? Mutarjama. Okay? Mutarjama. In this case, it is not the Ain Kalima huh? because it is Fa'alala. So it is the, there are four radicals. You are changing the third radical here. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Inshallah. You'll, you'll keep this in mind. It's not difficult. In fact, it's very simple. The only thing required is that you got to do it a few times. You can do it a few times, and you'll be strong, inshallah. Ba'asara, to scatter. You ba'asiru. And then ba'asara to. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Ba'asara. He scattered. Make it majhul. Ba'asara. What is it? What will be the majhul, brothers and sisters? What is the majhul of ba'asara? Remember this verse? Afala ya'lamu iza bu'sira ma fil kubur. Iza bu'sira ma fil kubur. Brothers and sisters, So, brothers and sisters, what is Bo Sera? Felun Mahadin, Lil Majhul. Are you with me? When it is Majhul, what do you look at it? Knife file. Where is the knife file? Ma. Ma is your knife file. Got the idea? This is Ma al Mausula, is your knife file. And Fil Kubur, Char Majrur, Silatul Mausul. Are you with me? Silatul Mausul. Very good. Keep that in mind because we are going to get these uh, uh, verbs which are very familiar to us, but we never knew what they are. Huh? Now, inshallah, we are learning. Okay, but Harwala, to jog or to walk very fast, huh? you have a and then 
هر ولتون زلزله یو زلزیل زلزلتون بدن چشتوش زلزلتون از دا مشتر This, and what is the pattern of zalzalatun? Fa'alalatun. What is it? Fa'alalatun. There is another pattern of master. Fi'alalun. Fi'alalun. Huh? Do you know the ayah? Iza zulzila zulzila til ardu zilzalaha. Huh? Are you with me? Iza Zulzilatil ardu zilzalaha. So what is the zilzala? Master. So write down here also zilzalun. What is the pattern? Fi'alalun. Fi'alalun. But the first pattern of master, fa'alalatun, is very common. Very common. And sometimes you will see master on the pattern of Fia Lahlun also. So brothers and sisters, if I write down the ayah is a Can you analyze? Of course, Iza is a ismu shart, gehru jazimin. When we study the surah, brothers and sisters, we can find out the jawabu shart. Right now, Iza is a ismu shart, gehru jazimin. Okay, fine. What is zul zala? Fialun ma'adin lil majhul, mabniyun ala fatah. What is this ta'ah doing here? What does it signify? That the knife file, because this is majhul, so it has to be knife file. Knife file has to be a monas. So where is the knife file? Al ardu. Is al ardu monas? Yes, it is monas. A samau monas and al ardu monas. A shamsu monas. So these are all monas. We know it. So al-ardu is, is marfu. Why it is marfu? Because it is naifah. And what is this? Zilzalah. Zilzalah. Mafulun mutlak. What is it? Mafulun mutlak. Are you with me? For emphasis. Wahuwa mudaf and ha. Mudaf ilahi. Ha again goes back to ard. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? In next... Uh, Two lessons we are coming across, Mafurun Mutla. It is arriving. It is just waiting in the next room to come here. So we will study it, you know, inshallah. Yes, sister. Zilzalaha. Ha goes to? Ji? Mudafili. Mudafili. When you say Subhanallah. Subhana is mafulun mutlak, mansub. And what is Allahi? Mudafili. Subhanaka. What is ka? Mudafili. Inshallah. We come now to the tara ra. To grow up. Ya tara ra'u. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Now look at the master. Do you find any similarity between this and the form 5? Tabassum? Huh? Again the same thing. Before the last kalima, it got a dhamma. Huh? Tara ru'un. Tara ru'un. Huh? That is the form of master. Tamad mada. Ya tamad madu. And then tamad budun. Tamad Mudun. Now, unless you write it down, you will forget, brothers and sisters. So you got to write it down. No? The next one, brothers and sisters. Itma'anna. What is it? 
اطمئن ولی زمو داریا یطمئن یطمئن and what will be the master اطمئنان اطمئنان very good brothers and sisters اشما ازا now whenever you see a shadda at the end then we got to break it down when we are doing our master اشما ازا مداری آباد ان سسس یشما ازو and then اشمی زازو اشمی زازو فاین باد ان سسس ایک شعر یا شعر ایک شعر فاین باد ان سسس ایه رنجمه یا رنجمه ایه رن جام ایه رن جام افران کا یا فران کیو یا فران کیو افران کاو what will be the master brothers and sisters افران کاو so inshallah you will remember this huh? now we go to the main lesson and inshallah you will try to remember here I want to explain you a new concept brothers and sisters <clears throat> it is so beautifully explained by Dr. Sam page number 117 in the key brothers and sisters <clears throat> I will read it quickly huh? And later on, we'll study it in Arabic. Huh? Here is an example, very sweet example. Hada rajulun. What is the meaning, brother and sister? This is a man. Huh? Book one, lesson number one. Hada rajulun. This is a man. Hada baitun. Hada masjidun. So hada rajulun. Okay. Hada muftada. Is hada marfu? Yes, it is marfu. It is huh? fine. Is haza definite? Yes, it is definite. Huh? Because muftada has to be marfu, and most of the time muftada will be definite. Okay, and the khabar is indefinite, but sometimes the khabar can come definite. So if you want to say this is the man, so what will you say? Hazar rajulu. Hazar uh, Rajulu. But when you say Hazar Rajulu, there is a possibility somebody will say that a Rajul is the Badal. And the news has to come afterwards. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So Hazar Rajulu Minasini. Are you with me? Hazar Rajulu Minasini. So then it is a Badal. But I do not want to <clears throat> say that. I only want to say, this is the man. So, Hazar Rajulu, Rajulu is Khabar. But it can be confusing huh? to some person or to most of it. Unless we specify, it becomes confusing. There is an ambiguity in here. In order to remove that ambiguity, you bring a suitable damir. <clears throat> what will you say? Haza huwa rajulu. What is the job of huwa here? That it's separated muptada and khabar. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So I'm going to write it. Huh? Okay, brothers and sisters, Hadha Rajulu, this is the man. Where is Mubtada? Hadha. Where is Khabar? Rajulu. In this case, the Khabar is definite. Huh? Normally, the Khabar would be Hadha Rajulun. Huh? Mubtada Khabar. 
Okay, brothers and sisters. But if I do not write the meaning, you may translate this as a, this man. Huh? You can translate both ways. This is the man or this man. Which is the correct translation? Huh? Because if you say this is Badal, then you are waiting for the news. Okay? So in order to remove the ambiguity, we bring in a Damir, which is called Damirul Fasli. What is it called? Damirul Fasli. Now this will come in the Quran all the time. Huh? So you will say Haza, and then you will say Huwa, and then you say Rajul. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Haza, Huwa, Rajul. So, so Haza is Muqtada, Huwa is Damirul Fasli. And then Rajul is Khabar. Now, there will be some people who will uh, analyze it in a different way. Huh? They will say Haza, Muqtada. Huwa, Muqtada number two. And Rajulu, Khabar number two. And Huwa Rajulu, what is the meaning of Huwa Rajulu? He is the man. A Jumlatul Ismiyatu. Coming as a Khabar for Hazad. Did you get it? Huh? It is possible that you make this as a Jumla Ismiya and this will come as a Khabar for Haza. There is a possibility, some will say. But Grammatically, it is not correct. And some people will even say, and I've heard it, that this Huwa is brought for emphasis. This, he is the man. They'll say, this has been brought for emphasis. This, he is the man. But from grammar point of view, this is Damir Fasli. It is only brought to separate Muftida and Khabar, so that there is no ambiguity. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Remember that. This is what Dr. Abdurrahim is trying to explain us. Huh? Okay? Damirul Fasli. What is the meaning of Damirul Fasli? Differentiating noun. What is it? It differentiates. What does it differentiate between Muftida? and cover keeps them separate so there is no confusion are you with me brothers and sisters now let's read quickly the rest of the inshallah you'll understand this is a man hadar rajulu and this is the man hadar rajulu but this sentence may also mean this man okay the listener may think that you mean this man and wait for the khabar. To avoid this ambiguity, an appropriate pronoun is inserted between the mubtada and the khabar. Hada huwa rajul. This is the man. Haulai humul mujrimuna. Haulai humul mujrimuna. These are the criminals. Hadihi hiya sayaratu. This is the car. Haulai hunnal muslimatu. These are the Muslim ladies. The pronoun damir so used is called damirul fasli. The differentiating pronoun. Got the idea, brother and sister? Highlight this. Highlight this sentence, brother. The pronoun damir so used is called Damirul Fasli. Mudaf Mudafili. The differentiating pronoun. This ambiguity also occurs in a sentence where the Muptada is a proper noun. Okay? And the Khabar is an adjective or a noun having Al. Example, Hamidun, brothers and sisters, Hamidun is a proper noun, it's a Muptada. And Allah Ibu is an adjective, okay, a player. So if you say Hamidun Laibu, Hamid the player, then you are waiting for the news. 
But you don't want to say that. You want to say, Hamidun is the player. What did I say? Hamidun is the player. Huh? Then what do you do now? Huh? Hamidun alive, which may mean Hamid the player. Or Hamid is the player. Got the idea? Hamid is the player or Hamid the player. If we mean Hamid is the player, we say Hamidun who will lie. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? So this way, the ambiguity is removed. Huh? This sentence is absolutely clean and precise in its meaning. Huh? Here are some more examples of the Mirul Fasli. Ulaika humul muflihuna. If you say ulaika al muflihuna, then muflihuna may become badal for ulaika. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? But you don't want here the meaning of badal. You want here the meaning of khabar. Then you bring in the hum. Zalika huwal fawzul azim. Got the idea? That is the great success. But the use of Damirul Fasli is not, it is not compulsory. Got the idea? If you think that there is no ambiguity, you need not use it. We have in the Quran, Zalika al Kitabu. <clears throat> so Zalika Muftada al Kitabu Khabar. That is the book. Zalika al Fawzul Azim. So here the meaning is very clear. That is the great success. Zalika al Fawzul Azim. So Zalika Muftada al Fawzul. Uh, al fawzu khabar. We cannot say badal here. Uh, because there is nothing else. This is the sentence. Zalik al fawzu al azim. And azim is the naat. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Now, we are starting the lesson. Wherever you will see the mirul fasli, you can highlight it. Or <coughs> with a pencil, uh, make a circle. So you know this is the mirul fasli. Huh? So this is something new we are learning. And this comes very frequently in the Quran, brothers and sisters. <clears throat> Did you know this before? You have been studying Quran for a long time, reading Quran for a long time, but we did not know this rule, brothers and sisters. Al Mudaris, Ya Ammaru, Haza Huwal Kutayibul Ladi Uridu Tarjamatahu. إلى اللغة الفرنسية يا أمارو هذا هو الكتيب الذي أريد ترجمته إلى اللغة الفرنسية Translation brother This is the book which I want translation of it in French language أتستطيع أن تترجمه are you able to translate it? To tarjima? An to tarjima? Atastatiu. What is tastatiu? Form 10. Mudaria. Okay. Where is the file? Mustatir. Tadiruhu anta. And what is an to tarjima? Master Muhammad. Fi mahalli nasbin mafulun bihi. And then, who is your? Mafulun bihi far? Tutarjama. Fine, brother. Again, tutarjima, the file is mustatir, takdiruhu anta. Got the idea, brother and sisters? Inshallah. Now, kutayyibu. Are you with me, brother and sisters? Do you remember kutayyibu? Okay, let me write it down to refresh you.
If the noun is three letters, what is the wazan? Fuayli. Waladun, Walaidun. Jabalun, Jubailun. Abadun, Ubaidun. Noun with four letters, brother. Fuay, Ilun. Got that idea, brother? Kitabun, Kutai Yibu. See? Ki, Ta. How many letters are there? Four letters. So what will happen now? Kutai. And this Aleph changes into Ya. Kutai. Yi. Boom. And then we have Idgham. And it will become Kutai. Yi. Boom. Is it 100% clear, brother and sister? <clears throat> we have done this before. Number three. If the noun has got five letters, the wazan becomes fuai ilun. Fin ja nun. How many letters? Finjanun? Five. Five letters. How will you say now? Funai G Nun. Huh? Please remember, huh? I'm just trying to refresh your memory. So this is what the Kotai Yib is, you know? Ismutasgir. Diminutive noun. We already studied it. Huh? Okay. Ammar is replying to the teacher. Astatiu. What is the meaning of astatiu? I can. I'm able to. Be awnillah. With the help of Allah. See, it's a very nice way of saying, you know, I can do it. With one condition. And that is, with the help of Allah. If Allah helps me, inshallah, I'll be able to do it. Okay. Fakad. No, Qad is here for tahkik. Fakad tar jamtu. Tar jamtu. What will be the meaning of here? Fakad tar jamtu. I have. Huh? Huh? I have. Huh? Okay. Kabla haza. Before this. I have translated before this. Iddata. Hmm? This is the your mafulun uh, bihi iddata number of books iddata kutubin number of books iddata mudaf kutubin mudaf ilahi islamiyatin is the nat now brothers and sisters you translate fakad tarjamtu kabla haza iddata kutubin islamiya. I have translated before this number of Islamic books. Is it clear the translation? Inshallah. Al Mudaris Uridu an Waziyal Kutayib al Mutarjama. Look at this sentence, brother. Uridu an Waziyal Kutayib al Mutarjama. Translation, brother and sisters. What is the meaning of Waza? You was to distribute. Huh? What is the meaning of waza? You was to distribute. I want to distribute. Huh? What do you want to distribute? Kutayyava. Huh? Fine. A booklet. Mutarjama. What is mutarjama? Isam maful. It is isam maful. Huh? Mashallah. Okay. I want to distribute the translated booklet Allah Ikhwanin huh? to the brothers. Who are they? Hadith al Ahdi bil Islam. Brother, change this Ikhwanin into singular. Akhun. Huh? If it is Akhun, 
What will you say after that? I want to write down. Ela Achen. Then what will you say? Are you with me, brothers and sisters? I'm trying to make you penetrate into this sentence. Go deeper into this sentence. Ela achin. Sahi? Okay. And then, hadithil ahadi. Bil Islam. So, what is hadisi? It is mudaf. Mudaf, mudaf. Are you, are you with me, brother? But then, Akhin, brothers and sisters, Ila Akhin is Jar Majroor. And because Akhin has a Tanween, it cannot be Mudaf. So, what is this Hadith al Ahdi? It is a Naat. What is it? Naat for whom? Akhin. Remember, I told you that. Uh, this is the way Naat will come. Okay? What is the balance? Ila Akhin. I want to distribute to a brother uh, who is new in Islam. Huh? Okay, are you with me, brother? I want to distribute to a brother new in Islam. Huh? So, Hadith C is uh, the Naat. Uh, brother and sister, Hadith C is the Naat. And see, it is Majroor. Why it is Majroor? Because Manut is Majroor. Huh? Are you with me? The Manut is Majroor. Okay. So, and then Ahadi is Mudaf Ilahi of Hadith. Okay. And then Bil Islam Majroor. Now change this Akhin into Ikhwanin. So, what will become to Hadith? Hmm? Let me write it down. Hmm, brother, sisters, let me write it down. Ela Ech Wa Nin. Are you with me, brother, and sisters? I'm deliberately going into detail huh? for you to think it over and figure out. So Hadithin or Hadithi now has to be Jama. So make Hadith into Jama Mudakar Salim. So what will be? Hadithuna. Now make it Majroor. Hadithina. Fine. Hadithi Na. And now, it is after that it is coming Ahadi. What is this? Mudaf ilahi. So if the Jama Mudakar Salam is Mudaf, the Noon has to be dropped. So this is what happened here. This Noon got dropped. And what is the result now? Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Maybe you should insert noon before al. Huh? So that you can have a thorough understanding. Still, ilai khwanin huh? to the brothers. And what is, what is hadith al-ahdi? What is hadith al-ahdi, brothers and sisters? The whole thing is an adjective. It's a naat. Huh? This is a naat, okay? Inshallah. You got the idea, brothers and sisters? Alhamdulillah. Ammar said, Izan 
Look at it, brother and sister. Idhan Utarjima. Who? Why, brother Utarjima? Idhan has come. Nawasibu Mudarya. Idhan Utarjima. Who? Translation? I will translate. See? If you use Idhan, the meaning has to be future. Otherwise, Idhan cannot make the verb mansu. Izan utarjimahu fi akrabi waktin mumkinin. Translation, brothers and sisters. In that case, I will translate in the nearest possible time. Huh? Inshallah. So, fi harfchar akrabi isam majroor wa huwa mudaf waktin Mudafilehi and Mumkinin, not. It is not. Huh? Got the idea, brothers and sisters, inshallah? Are you following me? I hope you are following me, inshallah. Now, Mudar is saying to Ammar, Ya Ammaru, because he can translate Arabic to French. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So the Mudaris is asking him, Ya Ammar, in Naka, truly you are Tujidul Logat al Franciata. You are very proficient. You are expert in French language. Tujidu, hmm? what is Madi, brothers and sisters? Ajada. Huh? What is the meaning of Ajada? To do something expertly in a very nice and excellent way huh? to do proficiently. So the teacher is saying, Ya Ammar, inna ka tujidul lughat al Francieta. Here the, the, the meaning will be, you know it very well. Huh? You are proficient in it. Wa huh? tatakallamu. What is the meaning of takallamu? To speak. But takallamu ha, and you speak it, kama yatakallamu ahlu fransa. As the people of France, you are speaking like the people of France. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Is the translation clear? Inshallah. Afaishta, brother. What is this here? Afaishta. What is a? Harfu istifam. What is fa? Harfu atfin. But it came late. Why? <laughs> because it is Queen Victoria. It will not allow anything to come before her. If it was hal there instead of a, brother and sister, if it was hal, how would you say it? Fahal. Fahal. Huh? But in this case, the, the Queen Victoria will not allow it. Hamzatul Istifam will not allow anybody to come in front. Huh? So this rule is also explained in this letter, lesson. This rule is also explained in this lesson. Now, brothers and sisters, we already have been playing with this rule and we understand it very well, alhamdulillah. So it's not difficult. Afa huh? Fi Faransa, what is the meaning of it? Did you live in France, brothers and sisters? Naam, what is the answer? Yes. In Nani, verily I. Vulitu. So, brother, Vulitu is a Jumla failure coming as a Khabar for Inna. Got the idea? You got to think like that also, huh? Where is the ismu inna? Ya mutakallim. Okay. Walidtu, I was born. Wa nashatu. You can say I was raised. Wa tara raatu. Wa tara raatu. And I grew up. But nashatu and tara raatu, the meanings are almost identical. Sometimes we use the same thing. I grew up. And was raised, it's the same thing, you know. 
في باريس in, in Paris لأنه because أبي my father كان يعمل هناك كان يعمل هناك how will you translate this brothers and sisters كان is مادي uh, and followed by مداريا it is, gives you the meaning of past continuous tense huh? in English we say past continuous tense you can translate it in two ways because my father was working there or you can say my father used to work there huh? okay fine innahu bakiya he remained there fi faransa how long did he remain there khamsa asharata sanatan no brothers and sisters what is this khamsa asharata Okay, we know it is a number. We know it is mabni. Uh, so what is khamsa asharata? It is here mafulun fihi. What is mafulun fihi? Tell me the other word for mafulun fihi. Zarf. What is the meaning of it, brothers and sisters? Zarf. Are you with me? So khamsa asharata and how do you know it is mafulun fihi? Because it is only a number. But the time is coming after that. What is that? Sanatan. So what will you call Sanatan here? Tamiz. Tamiz. Remember from 11 to 11 to 99, huh? Tamiz comes, you know. Tamiz comes to remove any ambiguity. If, we, if you say khamsa asharata, what then? Huh? Then bring in tamiz. So it is, brothers and sisters, sanatan is your tamiz. And khamsa asharata, you can say it is zarf. Or you can say mafulun fihi. Got the idea? Quickly translation, brother. He Truly he remained in France. 15 years. Huh? Inshallah. Okay. Huh? Make a note of it. Underline it. Put it in a circle with a pencil if you wish. You know. So you know it is Damirul Fasli. Brother and sister, this is the first time we are coming across this. And Dr. Abdul Rahim is so meticulous. Uh, he will not bring rules and uh, concepts together from everywhere. One by one, bit by bit. Uh, he will bring the concepts and then he will make the dialogues in which he will use these concepts and it makes it very easy for us to understand. From now onwards, Tamirul Fasli will come. But this is the first time we are coming across Tamirul Fasli. Sister Sukhaina? Yes, of course. That's why I started explaining you. Sister Sukhaina, the reason I started explaining you the Mirul Fasli it was because of this. Haza Huwa al So what is Huwa there? The I think I asked you to underline it huh? yeah. and circle it. Inshallah. Yes. And this is number two. Haza Huwa Sababu. If you remove Huwa from it, what will you say? Haza Sababu. This reason. It can also mean this reason. But we want to be sure that the person who reads it understands that this is Muftada and Khabar. Ikra al ayati Ya Ahmed, what is al ayati Mafulun bihi, inshallah. Why it has kasra? Jama'a mu'ana salim. Very good, brothers. Look at it here, brothers and sisters. Ba'dama yasta'idhu. Now what is this Badama Yastaidu? What is this Ma doing here now? Ma al Mastari. Huh? Huh? Okay, remove Ma and change the verb into Master. What will you say? Badal Istiazati. What will you say? Badal Istiazati. So, brother, watch for this. Now, 
if Bada comes and after that Ma comes followed by Felmadi or Mudarya, it's a very easy clue for us to figure out that that Ma is Maal Mastariya. So write down here, brothers and sisters, for your uh, you know, understanding that this is Ma Mastariya and also write it without Ma. How will you say? Badal Istiazati. Badal Istiazati. You want me to write it on the board? You can do it. You want me to write it? Okay, inshallah, I'll write it. Sometimes, you know, because we are not very fluent uh, in Arabic, we get a little problem in pronouncing this, brothers and sisters. Huh? If you were to, to study this from your childhood, or if you, if you are, you know, your mother tongue is Arabic, you have no problem. Uh, so it will say, Ba'das ti'adati, Ba'das ti'adati. But for simplicity, I still feel that while we are learning, whether we can say, Badal isti'adati. Badal isti'adati. And when you become very proficient, then you will, inshallah, won't pronounce Hamdatul Vasal. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Inshallah. Still some scholars say no. Hamzatul Vasal is Hamzatul Vasal. If it does not come in the beginning of the sentence, you do not pronounce it. But don't worry, brothers and sisters. I'm only pointing out to you that I'm doing this just for the sake of simplicity and ease. Later on we can pronounce it correctly, inshallah. So this is the meaning of Ba'adama Yasta Izu. This is the meaning of Badama Yasta Izu. Fine answer. Wa idh kaala Ibrahimu Rabbi Arini Kaifa Tuhjil Mauta. Okay, one sister, it has come. It means there is something Mazuf. And what is Mazuf, brothers and sisters? Whenever it comes, what is Mazuf? Uzkuru. Huh? What is Mazuf? Uzkuru. Huh? Okay, brothers and sisters. When Ibrahim said, Rabbi, what is Rabbi here? Ya, Arfunida is Mazuf, and <coughs> Mudafilehi is Mazuf. Okay, and we have to learn in this lesson the details of this kind of a expression. It's coming later on. Arini, what is Ari? Fellow Omar. What is the verb? Ara. What is Mudarya? You mm have -hmm. <laughs> to be very careful, brothers and sisters. Remember, Ra'a is fell falasi. So it is Yara. Ra'a, Yara. Now change this into form four. It becomes Ara. Are you with me? You got to remember these things. Ara, what will be the mudarya? Yuri. Huh? Yuri. We have done this, brother, many times. Inshallah, when you will get the <coughs> DVDs, you will be able to refresh yourself, inshallah. So from Yuri, five in your pocket. Yuri, Turi, Turi, Uri, Nuri. Okay, so Ari is Fiel Amrin, Mabni Nala, Harfi, Harfi Illa. Now, brothers and sisters, I will 
emphasize that when you think about Madharya, always think in this way for our simplicity and ease. Break the Madharya into three sections. What are those three sections? Five in your pocket. Noon aata hai, noon jata hai, and mabni. I will say five in your pocket. Noon comes and noon goes, and the mabni. If you think like that, you will understand things with much clarity, inshallah. So, because something else is coming in which your understanding of five in your pocket will help you a lot. Will help you a lot, inshallah. Arini, brother and sister, noon vikaya, and what is yamuta kalam? Mafulun bi. How will you translate? Show me, oh my, oh my Rab, show me. Kaifa tuhiyil mo. How do you give life to that death? Are you with me? So what is tuhiy? What is madi? Ahya. How do you write ahya, brother and sisters? In the dictionary, it is written like this. Huh? Okay, should not confuse you. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? That's the way it is written. Ahya Yohji. So you understand the meaning? You can translate. And understand what is Allah saying? Awalam again. Wow came after Hamzatul Istifam. We know why. Awalam to Omin. Translation, brother. Don't you believe? Huh? Okay. Or didn't you believe? Kala, bala. Yes, indeed. Walakin, but li la muta'alil li yatma'inna kalbi. But I want to reassure my heart. Okay? Fine, brothers and sisters. Now, here comes one of the most beautiful sentences, brothers and sisters. I, I simply love this verse. What is Quran, brothers and sisters? What is Quran? How will you answer? It's word of Allah. We all say it's word of Allah. Where is it written? Who told you that? Allah said it. Where did He say it? In the Quran. <laughs> See, so in in other words, what is Quran is mentioned in the Quran, and who mentions it? The author of the Quran. Who is the author of the Quran? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He mentions it. And what else is Quran? Who will tell us? Let the author of the Quran tell us what Quran is. Are you with me? Let the author of Quran speak and inform us what else is Quran. It is the word of Allah. What else it is? Brother and sister, this ayah defines what the Quran is. Huh? And, and if you understand properly, this is such a meaningful and beautiful verse, brothers and sisters. Look at it. Allahu Muftada. Where is the khabar? Huh? Where is the khabar? Nazala. What is Nazala, brothers and sisters? Form 2. Huh? Nazala, form 2. Okay. So this is your. Jumla filia, brothers and sisters, fi mahli rafain khabar mubtada. Got the idea, everybody? Okay. Now nazala, it is from two. We need mafulun bihi. Where is the mafulun bihi? Ahsana. Ahsana. And what is ahsana? It's a superlative degree. Superlative degree. Yeah? Mashallah. More than that, here it is mudaf. And what is mudaf ilahi? Hadithi. Now translate this. Allah, He brought down 
the most beautiful speech. What is it, brother and sister? He brought down the most beautiful speech. Are you with me? Now, here is a superlative degree. Ahsana, Hadith. Mudaf, Mudaf, Now, Allah is describing the Quran. What is Quran? It is the most beautiful speech. Huh? Fine, brothers and sisters. What is it? Kitaban. Huh? Kitaban. No. <laughs> we got to think very deeply. And you know, this is the way you will, inshallah, study the Quran. Huh? And if you analyze few verses of different kinds, then all that knowledge will come to use again and again and again. Here, brothers and sisters, Kitab one is Mansu. So then the question is, maybe it is Tamiz, maybe it is Maful Mutlaq. No, brothers and sisters. What is Kitab one? It is Badal. <laughs> badal for what? <laughs> Asana. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Huh? What is Kitab one? Huh? It is the Badal. Huh? Because if you remove Ahsana, Hadith, what will you say? Allahu nazala kitaban. Then it will become mafulun bihi. But we already have mafulun bihi. So what is kitaban here? Badal. Huh? Make a note of it, brothers and sisters. Very good. And then comes mutashabihan. Huh? Kitaban mutashabihan. This is your na. Okay, and then again, Masaniya, but with a single fatah, Masaniya, uh, it is dipped out. Uh, so again, that is your naat also. What is the meaning of Motashabihan? Consistent, uh, means the ayats are consistent with each other. Uh, the verses are consistent in its meaning uh, and in, in its message. In its guidance, they are consistent with other verses. That is the meaning of Mutasha behind. And then, brother and sister, Masaniya, it is Mankuth. Masanin became Masaniya. Okay? Okay, it, yeah, open up. Why? Because it is Mansub. Okay? What is the meaning of Masaniya? Means it, they are repeated. Huh? In the Quran, the ayats are repeated. To emphasize the message. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Fine, brothers and sisters. What is after that? This is the verb we are studying. Taksha irru minhu juludal ladina yakshauna rabbahum. Translation, brother. See, here is the verb. Taksha irru. Huh? Is it mudariya madi? Mudariya. Huh? Why it is tak and not ya? Because the file is. File is mohannas. Where is that mohannas? Jolud. I don't see it is mohannas. You will have to say, of course it is mohannas. Because kulu jama mohannas. Uh, Jolud is the plural. And what is the singular of Julud? Jild. Jildun. Skin. Here it is skins. Okay. Okay, what is the meaning of taksha erru? Tremble. Shiver and tremble, brother. Huh? Whose skin uh, shivers, brother? And Yadina Yakshauna Rabbahum. Okay, brother, this is Quran. This is the Quran. Uh, this is the miracle of the Quran. There, Allah brought down the, the message, the most beautiful speech, uh, and the skins of those who fear their Lord, they shiver. Are you with me? They tremble when they hear the recitation, and when they read it, their skins shiver, brothers and sisters. It will only have this effect, which Allah is telling us, if we 
understand. If you don't understand, it will have no effect on us. See the importance of understanding, brother? This message of Allah is so important that the skins of those who fear their Lord, they shiver with the Quran, from the Quran, from the recitation of it, and from the uh, hearing of it. But provided we understand what is being said to us, otherwise we are like stone. It doesn't affect us, brothers and sisters. Fine. So this is the meaning, brother. Uh, that most beautiful speech, brothers and sisters, those who fear their Lord, hmm, their skins shiver when they, from it, from the Quran. Huh? In other words, when they recite it or when they uh, hear it. Huh? Okay, brother. First the skin shivers. Then what happens? Thumma. Huh? Talinu. What is the meaning of talinu, brother? Huh? What is the madi? Lana. What is the madi, brother and sisters? Lana. Yali nu. To become soft. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Lana yali nu. Huh? What kind of a verb is lana? Ajabav. Aliyai. Mashallah. Mashallah. Okay. But that is talinu. Why talinu? Because the file is monas. Eh? Thumma talinu juluduhum wa kulubuhum and then their hearts become soft and their skins become soft, brother. When will it happen to us? When we understand. When we understand the language of the Quran and the message of the Quran. Both the things, brother and sister. The message of the Quran, of course, you can read English translation. You get the message. But it is not 100%, brothers and sisters. It is not 100%. Huh? The, the translation does not convey the meaning of the Quran. You've got to learn the language of the Quran to understand the meaning of the Quran. Otherwise, the job is half done. Huh? The job is half done. Okay. Fine. So, from... Talinu juluduhum wa kulubuhum ila dhikrillahi. And then their hearts and their skins become soft uh, with the zikr of Allah. Uh, this happens, brother. Okay. Next one. Zalika hudallahi. Zalika hudallahi. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Zalika hudallahi. So what is this Zalika? I know. Very good. MashaAllah. And raise the khabar. Huda. What is Huda? It's the master of Hada Yahdi. Which means the guidance. And Zalika Hudallahi. That is the guidance of Allah. But I ask you brother. Where does the Zalika which is a Damir. It is a pronoun. Where does it go to? Al-Quran, MashaAllah. See, Sister Mahmuna, you are absolutely right. That is the guidance of Allah. What is the guidance? The beautiful speech. And what is that be beautiful speech? The Kitab. And what is that Kitab? The Quran. That is the guidance of Allah. Quran is the guidance of Allah, brothers and sisters. You cannot change this statement. This statement will remain forever and ever that the Quran is the guidance of Allah. Nobody can change this. Huh? Because the Quran is so unique. Huh? It is so very, very special. Nothing has been created to match Quran. Huh? It is an ultimate miracle of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The everlasting, the perpetual. Huh? It will remain miracle till the end of the time, whether you believe in it or you don't believe in it. Huh? If you believe in it,
then you are a moment. If you don't believe in it, then you are a, you are a kafir. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Fine. So believing in Quran, uh, that this is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and it is the guidance, and it is the nur. There are other verses in which Allah describes Quran as a nur. Okay? These are all in the Quran, brother. These verses are all in the Quran. So, ذَلِكَ هُدَ اللَّهِ Okay? That is the guidance of Allah. Okay. What is next? Yahdi bihi, bihi. What is bihi? Jar majur. Okay. What is he? Pronoun. It must go somewhere. Where will it go to? Huh? Quran. It will go again to Quran. Bihi. He is Quran. And where is the file of Yahdi? Allah. Are you with me? So Allah guides with it. And what is that it? The Quran. Huh? And of course when you say Quran, it means the message. Okay. May yashal. And he dies with it whom he wishes. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So Yahdi, Felun, Mudariun, Marfuun, Bidammatil Mukaddara, Fa'il Mustatir, Takdiruhu, Huwa, Yadullu Allah, Allah. Hey, what is man doing here? What is man doing here, Sister Mahmuna? Yahdi man. Yahdi man. Mafulun bi. You need mafulun bi from Yahdi. Are you with me? So, so he guides. Whom does he guide? He wishes. The whom he wishes. So man is here. Mafurun bihi. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? And what is Yashau? Silatul Mausul. So it is Yashau is a Jumla failure. Sha'a Yashau. Ajwaf. File is Mustatir. Again, Takdiru Hua. Yadullu. Alallah. Fine, brother. So that is the guidance of Allah. He guides with it whom he wishes. Uh, brothers and sisters, now comes wow, harfu atf. And what is this man, brothers and sisters? This is ismu, ismu shart, ismu shart jazimun, hmm? tajzimu fi alaini, yudlil. This is fi alu shart. Huh? Yudlil is fi alu shart. Allahu is the file. For my yudlillahu. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? For my yudlillahu. So, Allahu is the file. What is this yudlil? Uh, brothers and sisters, again, we have to learn something more. I'll explain this in detail very soon. But let us. You did not tell me what is yudlil. What form of a verb is this? Adalla, mashallah. If you got it, that it is form for, what shall I say? Subhanallah, mashallah. Excellent, huh? brother. Adalla. Tell me what is adalla. Break it down. If it is form four, what is form four? Af'ala. What is it? Af'ala. So the verb is Ad-lala. Why did you make it Adalla? Because when it is Mudaf, when the Ain Kalima and Lam Kalima are same, brothers and sisters, then we give Idgham. Are you with me? We make it Idgham. So, Adlala, uh, we, we switch the signs over. What did we do? I put Fatah here and I put Sukun here. And then I made a Dram. So it became Adalla. Now make it Mudarya. Uh, what will be the Mudarya? 
Yudillu. Break it down, brothers and sisters. Yudlil. What is it? Yud. Lil. Okay, now sometimes when you are making fail mudarya majizum, then if the verb is a mudaf, uh, we break it down. Uh, are you with me, brothers and sisters? When the verb is mudaf, we break it down. We break the idgham. It is called fakkul idgham. Breaking up the idgham. It's all there mentioned in the key very beautifully. Most beautifully, Dr. Sahib has explained us. Okay. Now, this will happen. Normally, it does not happen. It only happens, huh? it only happens when we attach mutaharik pronouns. Are you with me? Have you forgotten that? Huh? I will give you another verb, a simpler verb, brother. Ahabba. What is the originally? Ahbaba. Fine. What is the mudarya? Yohibbu. Huh? What is originally? Yohbibu. Are you with me? See, Arabic is like mathematics. I've got to understand all these things. Yohbibu. Huh? Fine. When do you break it normally? When do you break it normally? Huh? Sister Sukhaina? Ahabba, Ahabba, Ahabu, Ahabbat, Ahabbata. Why did you break the Adhram? Mutaharik pronouns. That is the normal reason. Uh, whenever you have a Mutaharik pronoun, you got to break the Fakoid, I mean, you got to break the Adhram. You have to break the Adhram, okay? Which we call it Fakko Adhram. Now, brother. Yohibbu, make it Yohibbu. Yohibbu, Yohibbani, Yohibbuna, Tohibbu, Tohibbani, Yohibbina. Why Yohibbina? Mutaharik pronoun came. So, so in Mudarya, there are only two Mutaharik pronouns which come as a file, which are attached to the verb, and when they come, when they join the verb, then the idgham has to be broke up. Huh? Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Keep this rule in mind. Okay? This is what we are going to study in detail here. And it's so beautiful. Without the knowledge of this, brothers and sisters, some of the verses of the Quran will not make any sense to you. And we are going to read the key because there are some beautiful examples and I want to show you properly in the key, inshallah. Okay, brothers well and sisters. So here comes my yudlil. So what happened, brothers well and sisters? Yudillu, are you with me? Make it mansub. Yudilla. Make it majizum. Yudilla again, remember. Yudilla again. It is again because the way it is now. If I break it, brothers and sisters, it is like this. Yudillu. Huh? Yudillu. If I have to make it much zoom, I have to give it a sukun here. Are you with me? No. I cannot pronounce. So I bring a temporary fatah. Remember? Like Yahujja, huh? Lam Ahujja. Huh? So if you say this is much zoom, I want you to define this. How will you define it? Fialun. Mudhariun, majzumun, wa alamatu jazmihi, 
As-sukunu mukaddara. Because you know that there is a sukun there. Which we change into fata for our reason of pronunciation. So yudilla is majzumun bi sukunil mukaddara. So there is one way of writing majzum, yudilla, and what is the other way of writing? You break the idgham. Are you with me? You break the idgham. What happened? Yudililu, and then you say yudilil. What do you say? Yudilil. Now here, brothers and sisters, listen to me very carefully. This can be done only only in the mudarya in which you got five in your pocket. You can't do this noon ata and noon jata. You will only do it with five in your pocket. Are you with me? That's why I said it's so important for us to remember that the mudarya has got how many sections? Three. This is for our ease, brother. You won't find this explanation in the books. It is only for our ease. The way we are explaining, of course there are explanations in the books, but the way I want to make it so very simple and easy, brother and sister, is that you divide the fair mudarya into three parts. Number one, five in your pocket. Number two, noon comes and noon goes. And number three, mabani. So this can only happen when those verbs are in your pocket then you can either break the idram or leave it. And one other time. Are you with me? Five in your pocket is the one uh, section in which you can break the idram if it is majuzum and it comes in the Quran all the time. And the next one is fellow Amar. But only in singular form. Anta. Are you with me? Anta only, huh? Not in anti, but only anta. This will happen. And everything is explained in this lesson. You know, I thought I will finish it in one session, but no, I want to take it a little longer so that you have a thorough understanding, brothers and sisters. Thorough understanding of this concept. Okay? And it is so beautiful. And if you'll understand, you'll say, Subhanallah, MashaAllah. You know, I really understand the Quran and I feel it, you know, inshallah, in my heart. So here it is, brother and sister, for my yudalil. Allahu. Now, what is the translation of this? And the one, Allah. How can Allah uh, uh, misguide somebody? No, but if that person is stubborn, doesn't believe in Allah, so then Allah lets him go. Then Allah lets him go astray. Are you with me? And whom Allah lets somebody go astray, are you with me, brothers and sisters? Remember this. This is Allah is saying. Huh? The one whom Allah has let go astray. Whom Allah leads astray. What happens then? فَمَا لَهُ مِنْ Then there will be nobody who will guide him. See how powerful this verse is, brothers and sisters. Huh? How powerful and significant this verse is. It tells you about the Quran what Quran is. Of course we know it's the word of Allah. But the other characteristics of the Quran, that if, you, if we understand it, and if we believe in Allah, we will feel it in our hearts, in our body, that our hearts and our skins will shiver, and then they will become soft, because now we understand who Allah is, and then we make his zikr, we feel peace, huh? And tranquility in our heart. Allah bi zikr Allahi, Allah bi zikr Allahi, tat ma'innu kulu, Allah bi zikr Allahi, tat ma'innu kulu. 
See, isn't that with the zikr of Allah, the hearts feel tranquil, reassured? So same thing happens here, okay? ثُمَّ تَلِينُ جُلُودُهُمْ وَقُلُوبُهُمْ إِلَىٰ ذِكْرِ اللَّهِ Fine. So now, uh, Yudlil is, is Majzum. Uh, but remember, Yudlil is from five in your pocket. Uh, write down on top of it, brothers and sisters, Yudillu. Write down Adalla. So you know it is form four. So you, when you revise it, you are not confused. Uh? Write down Adalla and Yudillu. Uh, write down, brothers and sisters. Fine. So, Yudlil is your fellowship. Where is Jawab Usharat? Why for Haska Masan? Because remember that poetry, brother? Ismiyatun, Talabiyatun, Wabi Jamid, Wabi Ma, Walan, Wabi Kad, Watanfis. If you know that sentence, if it is if it is engraved in your heart, huh? if it is engraved in your heart, you will never make a mistake. Inshallah. So fa al fau waqiyatun fi jawabu shat. Ma lahu, brothers and sisters, what is ma lahu? What is this ma? Ma al hijaziya. It is ma nafi. But the Lijazia, see, now we are going further in detail, you know. This is Ma El Hijazia. Okay, brothers and sisters. Yamalu Amala Laisa. It does the job of Laisa. In other words, what is the meaning of this, brothers and sisters? The Ma will have Ismu Ma and it will have Khabar Ma. And Khabar Ma will be. Khabar ma will be Mansu. Khabar ma will be Mansu. Huh? Okay, fine, brother. So, what is Lahu? Jar Majur, Shibu Jumla, Fi Mahali Nasbin Khabaru Ma. Fine, brothers and sisters. And what is Min Hadin? Where is, where is the Ismu Ma? Where is the Ismu Ma, brothers and sisters? Mustatir? Ismu wa Mustatir? Sister Mehmuna? What is min here, Sister Nusrat? Min Zaida. What is this? Min Zaida. Remove min. Remove min, Bada Hassan. What will become to Hadin? It will remain Hadin, but it will be mar Marfu, which is actually. Hadiyun. But we again say Hadin. So Min he is your Min Zaida. Okay. And then Hadin is your Ism Ism Ma al Hijazia. And then you, you will say Al Jumlatul Ismiyatu Fi Mahali Jazmin Chawabushat. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Alhamdulillah. Inshallah, you will be able to do a lot of things this way, brothers and sisters. Okay. Before we go to the next verse, uh, I think it's time we should take a break. It is so interesting, the time seems to fly. I even don't feel that we have been studying for one hour and 45 minutes. But Alhamdulillah, when the lesson becomes very interesting, the time seems to fly. Let's take a short break, brothers and sisters, and we will, inshallah, come back. Huh? We are back from our break. Jazakillahu uh, khairan, sister Maimuna. Jazakillahu khairan, sister Aisha, for treating the class. May Allah bless you for your generosity and your kindness. We all enjoyed it. We start with the next ayah, brothers and sisters. See, this is the, another beauty of book three, that we le learn so many things with the help of the Quranic verses. وَإِذَا ذُكِرَ اللَّهُ وَحْدَهُ 
Are you with me, brothers and sisters? What is Eza? Eza is a ismu shart. Ghairu jazimin. Okay? So where is the fellow shart? Dhukhira. What is Dhukhira? Majhul. Where is the knife file? Allah. Okay, very good, brother. What is this? Wahda. Wahda. No. Hal. In what condition? Huh? Sister Abza? Hal. Alone. Alone. Wahdahu. Alone. Not associated with anybody. Huh? So who goes back to Allah? Huh? Wahda is Hal. Wahuwa mudaf and who is mudaf ilahi. So, wa idha zukira Allahu wahdahu. Translation, brother. Now remember, translation has to be in the present tense. So it means this ayah will be valid forever and ever. Huh? When Allah is mentioned all by Himself, only you mention Allah, nobody else. Huh? You mention Allah all by Himself. What happens? Ishma azzat. Ifma azzat. This is Felmadi, brothers and sisters. What is the form of verb? Huh? What is the form of verb? If if alalla. If alalla. Ishma azza. If Allah, are you with me, brothers and sisters? Now this is your job, Ushart. Huh? This is your job, Ushart. Huh? Where is the file? Kulubul Ladina. So how will you define Kulubul Ladina? What is Kulubu? What is Kulubu? File. Huh? What is a Ladina? Mudaf ilahi. What is it? Mudaf. See, kulubu, single. Dhamma. So it is mudaf al-lazina, mudaf ilahi. So here al-lazina is mudaf ilahi. Huh? And then the rest of it, brother and sister, is your silatul mausul. La yuminuna bil akhirah. How will you translate, brother and sisters? When Allah is mentioned all by himself. The hearts of those. Huh? What will you say, brother and sisters? When Allah is mentioned all by Himself, huh? the hearts of those who do not believe in Akhirah feel disgusted. Huh, brothers and sisters, those who do not believe in Akhirah, when Allah is mentioned to them, their hearts feel disgusted. Allah is the Creator. Allah is the one who created everybody. Allah is the one who provides our rizq. The air we breathe, the water we drink, the food we eat, everything is provided by Allah. But when you mention Allah all by Himself, those who do not believe in the Akhirah, their hearts feel disgusted. Okay. Wa'idha, again, another sentence, another shart. Wa'idha, dhukira lazina. Brother, dhukira lazina. What is lazina here now? Naif file. See, we got to figure it out. Huh? Before it was mudafilehi. Kulubul lazina. Mudaf mudafilehi. Now it is straight away naif file. Mindunihi. Other than Allah. Iza hmm? al lazina. And if you mention those other than Allah. Iza hum yastab shiruna. Then those very people whose hearts are disgusted when you mention Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone, they feel very happy. When you mention other people, then Allah, mindunihi, other than Allah, then their hearts are, they become very happy. But when you mention Allah, they don't feel happy. Okay, they, they are disgusted. Now here, we have to understand something else, brothers and sisters. Wa iza zukira fielushart. There was a fielushart in the sentence before that. 
What was the job of Shad brothers and sisters? Ishma huh? Azzat. Another verb. So there was no need for fa. Now here, hum yastab shiruna. There is a need for fa. Fa hum. Are you with me? If, if the jawabu shart is jumla ismiya, do you need fa? Of course you need fa. Why the fa has not come? The fa has been replaced by iza al fujayatu. Iza of surprise has replaced the fa. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So iza has come here in place of fa. And what is this iza? This is the iza al fujayya. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Okay. So now translate, brothers and sisters. When the Allah is mentioned all by Himself, the hearts of those who do not believe in Yom al Akhirah feel disgusted. And when other than Allah, the other deities are mentioned, huh? suddenly, then Iza here means surprisingly, suddenly, what happens? Hum yastab shiruna. They are happy. Huh? Suddenly, see, surprisingly, when you mention others, other than Allah, they feel very happy. All of a sudden, they feel very happy. But when you mention Allah only, only wahdahu, then their hearts are disgusted. Who says this, brothers and sisters? Allah himself says, this was valid, this message was valid, this message was valid at the time of the revelation of the Quran. This is what the Kuffar used to feel with their 360 deities in the Kaaba. When Prophet ﷺ used to mention Allah only, they felt very disgusted. But all of a sudden when somebody mentions the other, they feel very happy. So this message was Valid, it is valid now. Huh? When you mention and talk about Allah, some people don't like it. But when you talk about other deities in which they believe, huh? all of a sudden they are happy. And this message will remain you know, valid till the end of the time. Because everybody, all humanity is not going to believe in Allah. They are not going to believe in Allah. And if everyone that Allah has created does not believe in him, does it matter to him? It doesn't matter to him. Does he need our worship? No, he does not need our worship. We only worship to benefit our souls. Brothers and sisters, when you do good deeds, they are for our own good. Okay? So Allah is Ghani, is free of all wants. You know, but this is what happens. So this is again, brothers and sisters, such a beautiful verse, you know. But you have to understand, Sister Mainas, here the verbs, the way they are given, and the shart, the conditions the come it comes, the way the condition is brought, and the way Iza Fujaya is brought. Huh? You cannot translate this. You got to understand this is Iza al Fujaya. Surprisingly, all of a sudden, they become very happy when they hear their own deities being mentioned. When, when the Allah is mentioned, they feel disgusted. So it's a very beautiful sentence, brothers and sisters. Something to ponder upon and think about. Ya dukhulu rajalun wa yusallimu. Translation, brother. A man enters and gives salutation. Al-Mudaris. What is Mudaris doing now? Ba'adama yaruddul tahiyata. Ba'adama yaruddul tahiyata. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Ba'adama yaruddul tahiyata. Radda yaruddu. What is the meaning of radda yaruddu? To return. Or reply. Ma yaruddu. What is this ma? Al-Mastariya. Change this, brother. No, you got to find the master of Radda Yaruddu. What is the Raddun? What is the master of Radda Yaruddu? Raddun. Huh? 
What is the master, brothers and sisters? So how will you translate now? By the Bada Bada Raddit Tahiyati. That will be the translation. And if you use Ma Mastariya, then it will become Badama Yaruddut Tahiyat. It is Mudaf Mudafili. Are you with me? This is Mudaf Mudafili. So Bada Zarf Raddi. Mudafilehi, wahua mudaf, and this is mudafili. Write it down, brothers and sisters. It will help you to understand better ma mastariya. Slowly and slowly, inshallah. Ya ikhwanu, mudaris is saying now. Mudaris is saying now, Ya ikhwanu, haza huwa al murakibul jadidu. So, what is this huwa here? The word fasli. Got the idea? It separates muftada and khabar. Huh? Man kana ladehi su'alun Whosoever has a question Fal yas'alhu Man kana ladehi su'alun Fal yas'alhu Again this is man What is this brothers and sisters man? Ismu shart Tajizimu fi'alaini Where is the first? Kana fielun madin mabnun alafata fi mahalli jazmin. Fielu shart, okay? And what is, why far has come? It is talab. It is talab, huh? So what is fa alfau vaqiyatun fi jawabi shart? And then, brothers and sisters, lam, lamu amar, and then fielun mudariun majzumun. And then who is? Mafurun bihi. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Inshallah. Okay. So, then you will say, A jumlatul fi aliyatu fi mahalli jazmin jawabu shart. I'm repeating all these things so that, inshallah, it will become very easy for you in future. Inshallah. Then Hamid is asking, Ya Shaykhu. What is Hamidin asking? Ya Shaykhu. Minna. Now this again needs more explanation and it is coming in the in the key for us, you know. And in the dars also. Minna. Here this min is very special. Okay. We are going to learn about it. What is the translation of minna? Some of us. What is it? Some of us, minna man yuridu an yashtarika fi muathkari jamiati. Minna man yuridu an yashtarika fi muathkari jamiati. Translation, brothers and sisters. Some of us who, who want to, who want to participate, who want to Participate where? In the... What is this, brother and sister? Muaskari. It is Ismu Makan. This is from... What kind of verb is this? Rubai. What is the Mahdi? Askara. You askiru. Got the idea, brother and sisters? So, this is Ismu Maful. It is Ismu Maful, but it is Ismu Makan. It is Mumaka. What is the meaning of Muaskar? We had already learned the verb Muhayyam. Remember Muhayyam? Camp. Camp, yes. Camp. Huh? We had already learned that word, brothers and sisters. Muhayyam, which means camp. So, Muaskaril Jamiati Mudaf Mudafili. The university camp. Afa Yusajiluth Mahu Ladaikal Ana. What is the translation, brothers and sisters? Should he 
register his name with you now? Okay, look at it, brothers and sisters. Minna, some of us. Huh? Okay? Man is again shart. Are you with me? It is shart. Yuridu is mudarya. Marfu fi mahali jasmin. And where is the jawab? Why fa has come? It is talab. What kind of a talab is this? This is istifam. Huh? This is what is it? Istifam. Where is the istifam? Ah. But why has fa come afterwards? Because it will not allow anything to come before it. Okay? So here, Afa Yusajilu, now brothers and sisters, Afa Yusajilu, this is a question, interrogation. That is why it needs fa. It is a part of talab. Huh? Got the idea, everybody, brothers and sisters? So if you analyze it, a is harfu istifam, and what is fa? Harfu atf. And what is yusajjil? Fialun mudariun marfun bi dhamma. Fail mustatir. Takdiruhu huwa. Isma mafulun bihi. Wa huwa mudaf. Hu mudaf ilayhi. What is this ladaika? What is ladai? It is zarf. Huh? And then ka is mudaf ilayhi. Al ana, of course, it is zarfu zaman. So, how will you translate this, brother and sisters? Should he register his name uh, with you now? Okay, it's so a question. And that is why we have this uh, fa coming here, because it indicates talam. Huh? So then we will say, al-jumlatul fi'aliyatu fi mahalli fi mahalli Jasmine, Jawabu Shart. Got the idea? Alhamdulillah. Al Murakib. Naam. Haza. What is the meaning of Haza here? Haza. What is Haza? This. So, so brother and sister, what is it? What is Haza here doing here? No, it cannot be Muftada. Then the Khabar has to come. Haza here is a khabar, and Muptada is mazu. What will you say? Bring Muptada now. Huwa Haza, what will you say? Huwa Haza means it is this. What that other person was asking, the Murakab is saying, yes, it is this. You can register uh, uh, the name with me. Okay? So Haza here is, brothers and sisters, is your khabar, and muftada is mazuf. Huh? Now this is just for us to understand. You will always see these sentences, and you will ask yourself, what is it? And inshallah, you will be able to figure out the answers. وَأُرِيدُ أَنْ أَدُلَّكُمْ أَلَىٰ أَمْرٍ فِيهِ أَجْرٌ Inshallah. I want to direct you to a thing in which there is a lot of reward. Okay. I want you to look this, at the sentence very carefully, brother and sister. You know Adullah. Huh? Dalla Yadullu. Huh? Okay. Ala Amrin. What is Amrin, brother and sisters? Isam Majrur. But it is indefinite. What is it? It is indefinite. Fihi ajrun. What is fihi ajrun? Circle that. Fihi ajrun. And now analyze it. What is fihi? Jar majrun. Huh? Where is muftada? Ajrun. Fihi jar majrun shibu jumla khabar. Ajrun is your muftada. And this is jumla ismiya. What is this jumla ismiya doing here? Not, huh, Sister Hafsa, if the noun is indefinite, huh, then the sentence comes as a 
not. If the noun is definite, the sentence will come as a hal. Huh? So we're going to study these now. Huh? This concept, brothers and sisters, this concept, we are going to study it huh? slowly, slowly. Okay? I'm just trying to prepare you now. We never used to think like this before. Now we are thinking in detail. Huh? So, ala amrin, what kind of a thing? Describe it. Fihi ajrun. There is a ajar in it. Okay, that is the thing. So that sentence describes the uh, uh, manut, which is uh, amrin. Huh? Inshallah. Min tulabil mahadi. Okay, but the translation of this min tulabil mahadi. What is it, brothers and sisters? Some of the students, huh? not all, huh? some of the students of the institute, man hum bihajatin ila musaidatin. Now you translate, brothers and sisters. Some of the students who are in need of help. Got the idea? Some of the students of the institute who are in the need of help. Fasaidu, so help. So help them. Saidu is Amar. Felu Amrin, Mabnun Allah, Alfinun. Okay, where is the file? Wow. And what is whom? Mafulun bihi, mashallah. So help them. Mimma atakumullahu. What is the meaning of this? From what Allah has given you. Okay? Got the idea, brothers and sisters? So, Min Tullabil Mahadi, Man Hum Bihajitin Ila Musaidatin, from this, some of the students of the institute who are in need of help, Fasaiduhum, so help them. From what Allah has given you. Man arada, again shart, brothers and sisters. And yusa'idahum. Translation, brothers and sisters. Whosoever wants to help them. Fal yattasil. Fal yattasil bi amini sundukil birri. Translation, brothers and sisters. He should contact. The treasurer. Uh, what will be the translation of Bi Amini Sundukil Birri? The treasurer. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So, Arada, sister Mamuna, what is Arada here? Felun Mahadin, Mabniun Allah Fata. Fine? Allah Fata. Okay. And Fi uh, Mahali, Jasmine. Fialushat. Okay, fine. And then fa has come. Al fa'u waqiyatun fi jawabi shart. Okay, brothers and sisters. And then lamu amar. And then fialun mudariun majzumun bi lamu amar. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Fine. And b arfjar amini isim majur wa huwa mudaf and sunduki mudaf ilahi wa huwa mudaf and al birri. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? So, what will you say? Al Jumlatul Fi Aliyatu Fi Mahalli Jasmin Jawabu Shart. Alhamdulillah, we finished it, brothers and sisters. I took a little long because I went into a lot of details. And inshallah, it will help us to understand the rest of the uh, concepts with ease. We go now, brothers and sisters, to Number four. Ayyin al-afwal al-rubayyata fi ma'yati. Specify the four letter verbs, brother and sister. Wazkur baba kulla wahidin minha. And describe the bab of every one of them. Now you must describe in what way, brothers and sisters, either you will say, Fa'alala, 
either you will say this this verb is from bab fa'alala or you will say it is from the bab taf tafa'alala you will say tafa'alala or if you will say if alalla or if you it is there you will say if an lala huh? you will have to describe it nicely brothers and sisters dakhala tiflu maktabi translation brothers and sisters the child enter my office wa ba'sara wa ba'sara al kutuba wal awraka and he scattered uh, uh, the books and the papers uh, it is organized everything he made a mess of my office okay brother what is the verb of our importance ba'sara what do, what is the bab fa'alala ha huh? fa'alala dagdagtu huh? tifla fadahika what is the meaning of dagdaga to tickle somebody are you with me how the child laughs when you tickle ha huh? dagdagtu tifla fadahika i tickle the child and he laughed brothers and sisters what is the verb dagdaga fa'alala ha inshallah atani tabibu dawaan ata yuti needs two mafulun bihi are you with me form 4 where is the first mafulun bihi ya mutakalli what is al tabibu fa'il where is the next mafulun bihi dawaan okay li ghargharati translation brothers and sisters the doctor gave me the medicine for gargling huh? so what is ghargharati no it is mustar what is it it is mustar now you describe the bab fa'alala huh? it is the mustar are you with me it is the mustar this is not fi'l mahdi huh? qala ta'ala ala bi zikrillahi tatma'innu alqulub isn't by the remembrance of allah the hearts feel reassured huh? feel at peace huh? the hearts feel tranquility what kind of a verb is this it is mudhariya what is the bab if alalla if alalla that is very important huh? maybe you can write down on a separate sheet of paper okay and if you want you can also check hello tamari and see how dr sahab has presented it you know and then don't copy that you make your own table and write down the verbs and you make your own explanation you know you write down your own results are you with me brothers and sisters وَقَالَ تَعَالَى فَمَنْ زُحْزِحَ What is زُحْزِحَ? This is مَجْهُول This is you know فَعَلَالَى Okay, so brothers and sisters, what is this now? Explain me. زَحْزَحَ To remove something. To remove somebody. Okay, to move somebody. So Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says, "For man." So here, brothers and sisters, uh, man is again shart. Zuhziha is felun madin lil majhul mabniun mabniun ala fata fi mahali chasmin. Zuhziha is felun madin lil majhul mabniun ala fata fi mahali chasmin fi alu shart. And a nar char majrur. Wa udkhila. What is this? Wa udkhila. It is majhul. This is mautufun ala zuhuziha. It is mautufun ala zuhuziha. But what is this? Udkhila. Form four. What is it? Majhul. What is madi? Adkhala. It is adkhala. Wa udkhila. Jannata. Fakad faza. See, fa has come and kad has come, 
And Faza, what is Faza? Failun Madin Mabnun Ala Fata. Are you with me, brother and sister? Fail Mustatir Takdiru Huwa. Okay. So here, this is Al Jumlatul Fialiyatu Fi Mahali Jasmin Jawabu Shark. Now let us uh, translate, brother and sisters. Faman Zuhziha Anin Nar. The one who is removed from the fire and Udkhila Jannah. Translate, brother. He is, he is made to enter. He doesn't enter himself, but somebody makes him enter, which is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Are you with me? Then he is made to enter Jannah. What happens? He has succeeded. He has succeeded. Got the idea? So one who has been moved from the fire and who has been made to enter Jannah, truly he has succeeded. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Inshallah. Next one, brothers and sisters. Bafi hadisin kutsiyin kala nabiyu kala lahu ta'ala ya ibn Adam ya ibn Adam o son of Adam kum fiel amar get up ilayya what is the meaning of ilayya? Brother, here you get up with the intention of walking towards me. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying, Kum, you get up. But you have this intention when you get up that you are going to walk towards me. Ilayya. Amshi ilayka. No, you have only got up. You haven't started walking. But your intention is to walk towards Allah. As soon as you get up, the Allah walks towards you. You haven't started walking towards Allah, but Allah knows your intention, so He walks towards you. Okay? Brother, kum, you can insert a shart. What will be that shart? In, in takum. In takum ilayya. Then the amshi will become your jawabu shart. Here, amshi is majizum. Why it is majizum? Jawabu talab. Kum, fiyal amar. So amshi is jawabu talab. Wamshi ilayya and walk towards me. Huh? And walk towards me. Uhar huh? will ilayka. So, what is this? Uhar will mudharia. Majzum. So, what is the bab? Harwala. Fa'alala. Got the idea, one sisters? Here also you can insert a shart. Wamshi ilayya. In tamshi ilayya. If you walk towards me, I will. Run towards you. I'll jog towards you. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Very beautiful meaning. Huh? Alhamdulillah. Rawahu al Imamu Ahmad. It is mentioned in the book of Imam Ahmad. An Abi Abdullahi Sunabihi An Nabi Kala. This is the hadith of Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Wa man Tamad mada, waman tamad mada, wastan thara, kharajat khatayahu min anfihi wa famihi. Tamad mada, what is the meaning of tamad mada, brother? To rinse your mouth. This is the time of when you are doing your wudu. Istan thara means to, means you sniff water. Istansara uh, means to sniff the water. Kharajat khatayahu. His mistakes go away from his mouth and from his nose. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Inshallah. Again, this is Rawahu al Imamu Ahmad. Another hadith, brothers and sisters. An Ibn Umara, an Nabi, Kala. In Allah, in Allah, Yakbulu Tawbat al Abdi. Translation, brothers and sisters. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepts the Tawbah of the slave. Huh? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepts the Tawbah of the slave. Ma lam 
yugar gir. Malam yugar gir. Gar gara. Brother, what is the meaning of gar gara? Huh? It's the gargling. Huh? But what is the meaning here? Brother, here it means, write down this, brothers and sisters. When the soul of a person comes to his mouth, brother, it's about to go away. And then you hear a person uh, making a sound. Okay? Now so that is the time the soul is leaving the body. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepts the tawbah of the abd, his slave, until the time he hasn't than the death rattle. The translation, does it make sense, brothers and sisters? Huh? You must have heard of this, or you must have witnessed sometimes this. I'll do the last one, and the next one I will do uh, tomorrow, inshallah. Huh? I'll only do one more. La ba'asa. La nafiyatu lil jins. La ba'asa. La nafiyatu lil jins. La basa bil madmati. What is this madmati? Masta. Huh? Okay? Huh? Madmada. But what is the meaning of madmada? You know? To rinse your mouth. Huh? Yes. To rinse your mouth. Kuli karna. Okay? But tabarrudi. What is tabarrudi? Tabarrada. What is the meaning of tabarrada? To pour cold water on the body. La basa. There is no problem. Are you with me? It does not matter if the person who is fasting, if he rinses his mouth with water or takes a shower with cold water. There is no problem. His fast is still intact. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? That is the meaning of it. Okay. Alhamdulillah. We are moving forward. A little slow today. But I had so many things to explain to you. Tomorrow, inshallah, we'll finish this lesson. And we'll move to the next lesson, which is very easy. The next lesson is Halwa Buri, waiting for you. Okay. Rabbana atina fi dunya asanatam wa fil akhirati asanatam wa kina ardabannar. ربنا هب لنا من أزواجنا وزرياتنا قرة عين وجعلنا للمتقين إماما ربنا تقبل منا إنك أنت سميع العليم وتب علينا إنك أنت تواب الرحيم سبحان ربك رب العزة يما يسفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين